What's up, people? What's up, YouTube? What's up, fans? What's up, world? Going through some things today. Today's my daughter's birthday. My eldest daughter, she'll be 12 years old today. I haven't got to see her <sighs> so many years because of bullshit. But I just want to tell her, you know, that I love her. Tell her it's not my fault I'm missing out on all these birthdays. After this, it will be my fault. If I keep missing out on birthdays after this, then yeah, it will be my fault. But, you know, I love you. You know, I love you to death. I love you, you know, to as far as you can think. You know, I've made a promise to you and I haven't been able to keep that promise, but I'm gonna make, up, make it up for that promise. And um, I don't like the fact that how things are, and I know you hate it too, because you're probably thinking like, damn, my dad don't give a fuck about me, but I care about you more than what you know and more than how you feel, more than what you think. You know, it's not my fault that, you know, like I said, again, I'm sorry for all these years that I messed out on you. You know, blame your blame your grandma, grandpa, great grandma, grandpa, your mom, and everybody you got going over there right now. Blame them for what they did, you know. Blame them for what they continue to keep doing, you know. And grandpa getting mad because your mom talks to me. Nigga, that's my child. What the fuck is your problem, bro? When the fuck is you going to grow up? and stop being a little bitch, man. I'm sorry, but you was a bitch, bro. You still get mad because I'm trying to talk to my daughter, nigga. Like, what what, kind, what are you teaching her as a grandpa? You know, what are you teaching her as any type of anything, bro? You're not teaching her nothing. You're just trying to teach her how to hate people who ain't ever done nothing to her. And that shit is dumb. You know, great grandma, you know, you want to sit there and try to say I did this to my daughter and did that to my daughter. I bet you ain't ever told her that it was your fault, the reason why your fault and your grandma hurt your fault and her grandpa's fault not great grandpa but grandpa's fault that it's that's the whole reason why i ain't got my daughter right now i bet you'll never tell her that you know what i mean like she's sitting here and having to sit here and, and struggle and and not go through life with her father because of the decisions that y'all wanted to make you know what what have i really done to y'all what have i really done to the whole family ever i gave y'all y'all's first grandchild you know what I'm saying? I know what it is. You racist, bro. You, you racist as fuck, bro. Like, you used to tell me all the time, you know, you, you, your brother, half-brother, whatever the fuck, the one that passed away, half-brother, had to go through all this because he was black and your, your daughters decided to get with a black dude and now you had a black granddaughter and now you don't want the black man to be in the daughter's life because of what? That shit is dumb, bro. What are you teaching people, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you two, what, 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 what are we teaching our kids nowadays? Like, what the hell's going on? You know, this shit is dumb. We, we're teaching our kids to fail. We're teaching our kids to not love. We're teaching our kids to hate people who ain't never done nothing to them. We're teaching our kids to hate people who are a different kind of race or a different kind of faith or a different kind of anything. You know, that shit is dumb. Just because your life is fucked up as parents, just because the parents' life is fucked up as kids, I mean, you got to do the same thing to your children, man, for real. And I'd be damned if I'm doing that to my kids, you know. I'd be damned. But I want to say happy birthday to my daughter again. I'm sorry that I missed so many birthdays. I'm sorry that I had to go through, that you're going through what you go through when I'm not there. I'm sorry I'm going through what I'm going through because you're not here, you know. It's not our fault. All I can do is just try to make it better. And I'm going to try it, you know. I'm going to try. I'm going to make it better. i just been waiting on me to get what I need to get. And once I get what I can get, then... There's no stopping. Can't nobody stop me from getting you. You know, they they all messed up. They all sat there and did what they did. And I, I got all this paperwork, stacks and stacks of paperwork of what they did. So it's nothing for me to get my daughter. It's just money. It's sad I got to pay $10,000 for me to get my own daughter. When all the evidence, all the evidence is there that I ain't never done shit. But that's, that's just the way how New Mexico and Texas and laws period is just fucked up, you know. So now I got to sit here and we all got to suffer. After the mama already gave her rights up because she thought she was going to jail for a long time, should automatically gave the rights to me. But no, you want to sit there and give it to the great grandparents from when they motherfuckers finna die anyways. Some old ass niggas finna die, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, do y'all not, y'all not, y'all don't care about anybody's future. Y'all don't care about children's future. Y'all don't care about nobody's future. Y'all just want to sit here and continue to keep fucking shit up. But I'd be damned if I continue to keep going through the shit that I go through with my daughter, man. My eldest daughter, all my kids I got now. I'm not going through shit like this again, bro. 
I'm going to get my daughter whether y'all like it or not. You're going to have to kill me before anything else. You're going to have to kill me before I don't get my daughter because that's the only way I'm not going to ever have her. But I'm un until then, man, y'all going to have to see me. Y'all going to see me. Y'all going to feel me. Y'all going to understand this year. The 2020 is not no joke. I'm coming for my daughter. I'm coming for you, Abby. Abby Ellen Nevaeh Marshall. I'm coming. And that's, that's, that's on set, on hood, whatever. I ain't no gangster, I ain't none of that. I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? So that's on whatever you want to put it on. You want to put it on something stupid, put it on something stupid, but that's on life, period, my nigga. I'm coming for my daughter, I'm coming for my daughter, I'm coming for my daughter. I ain't playing, you can try to fight me and do what you want to do, bro, but you done already fucked up. Everybody done fucked up in the whole family. You can't none of y'all take it back because it's all set in stone. So when the cat's out the bag and then my daughters hate y'all and resent y'all for what y'all did to me, that's on y'all. Y'all can't take it back, man. But until then, man, y'all gonna see me. Y'all know the channel, what's the deal, whatever. This is some real, this is some venting life, real life shit that people go through, that men go through all the time. Like, subscribe, share, let people know this. I'm trying to get it to them so they can see this shit because I ain't bullshit, man. But again, happy, happy birthday, my daughter, man. I love you.